So, we just happened to be passing Bambi in our Hyundai Ioniq. So, I'm back here at this Tesla supercharger, and these are the ones which are open to any EV. So, open to non Teslas. And I made a recent video about the compatibility of the CCS2 port when you're charging the Hyundai Ioniq here. But I was using a version 2, so this time I've called in here just to try the version 3 and make sure they do actually fit. And the issue that some other viewers on the YouTube channel have said is this LED at the top of the charge port here is causing an issue on these cars when you plug in the Tesla version 3 CCS connector this gets in the way and stops it plugging in properly so let's have a go and see if it works so these things should be standard but I would imagine it's this bit at the top which causes an issue with these Hyundai's and maybe Kia cars I would imagine they've got the same charge port as well but that does just fit under there that actually slid in nicely as you can see so yeah by the looks of it absolutely fine not an issue at all and this car hasn't really been rapid charged it's not like this is sort of worn or pushed out the way or anything that just slid in there absolutely fine so yeah not an issue with the tesla version 3 ccs connector so i've now come to the osprey and you can see the difference between a CCS connector on these, they don't have that lump at the top, but they have a considerably heavier cable and connector, twice the weight of that Tesla one. And it's exactly the same. It's tight against the LED, but it fits. On our way back out of Bambi, I've called back here again the uh, Stroud Park Instavolt charging hub, and I thought I'd just try another CCS connector if oh dear, if this does reach around <laughs> these cables are so heavy and stiff these cables are so much thicker and heavier than on the Tesla supercharger even though this isn't any more power but anyway that fits just fine but there is a bit of a larger gap there there is about two to three millimeter gap at the top between the led and the top of the connector so a little bit more compatible as it were but by the looks of it it's going to be fine with any ccs2 connector so let me know in the comments below if you have an issue with using the tesla version 3 ccs connector on your hyundai ionic and does this same issue exist with the other kia and hyundai evs let me know but I think it's fine and uh, not really an issue if it is just a little bit of slight wiggling will probably do it god they're stiff very stiff and very uh, heavy stiff cables oh and you have to park very close to get that cable to reach but anyway that's it i thought i'll just double check and uh just by chance we happen to be driving past here in the ionic which is very rare normally we'd be in the tesla model s but there's a reason why we're not in that today which will be in a video uh coming up in a week or two's time anyway that will do for this one if you found it useful as always please do click the thumbs up button and i'll see you on the next video